I like being short. Shut the fuck up! Big 19, yeah? It's not looking good, bruv. 40% of people wish they could change their height, and 99% of them are men. But what if I told you there's a secret recipe to increase height, a substance that can make you grow? I know it sounds super sketchy, but listen to me. But before I tell you, everybody already knows that the growth hormone is important if you want to get taller and it helps you build bones and muscles. For the growth hormone to help you grow, it needs a special substance which is IGF-1. I know it sounds like a gun, but stay with me. Stay with me. IGF-1 is made in all parts of the body, but mainly the liver. That means that if the growth hormone needs IGF-1 to help you grow, you need more IGF-1 to become taller. If the growth hormone increases, that means more IGF-1. So basically, if you're trying to increase IGF-1 levels, you're really just trying to enhance growth hormone levels in the body. And that's the point of this video, we're going to see the best ways to increase IGF-1. This is part 1 of a 2 part series, I'm going to post the other one next week, so you know what to do. So starting off, there are 3 best ways to increase IGF-1 levels. IGF-1 is produced throughout your whole life but peaks during puberty. First way is to restrict your calories intake. This means that restricting calories can increase your IGF-1 levels. Researchers found a 21% increase in IGF-1 levels among people who reduced their calories. So if you want more IGF-1 in your body, better start counting your calories, making sure you're not eating more processed food, eating natural food and make sure you're not gaining weight and paying attention to everything you eat. Second way is to increase protein intake. Research was done and found that people with low daily protein intake lowered their IGF-1 levels by 25%. So that means that we just have to reverse this whole research and we must try to consume as much proteins as possible. More specifically, 24% of dairy calories intake from protein. Is this nigga serious? What the f Third way is to regularly exercise and stop being fat. <laughs> Is this nigga serious? That's gotta be racist. There's no way. <laughs> Regular exercise increases growth hormone release which stimulates the production of IGF-1. Because of muscle tears and stress when exercising that needs repairing, the body has no other choice but to release IGF-1 levels for faster recovery. I know the language was pretty complicated, but hey, it's science. Subscribe for part 2. Peace. <laughs>